Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Ranjan and this is AI playlist and today I will be talking about automating our complete life cycle in machine learning projects. It sounds amazing, right? So in the last videos, I have covered how can we automate our EDA part that is exploratory data analysis of our data set. So in this video, I will talk about complete automation of our machine learning. So we have some open source libraries and some license libraries as well. So in this video, I will talk about only open source libraries. So we have PyCaret. So PyCaret is completely automated machine learning library. So in this library, we can automate our complete steps, complete life cycle. That means we can automate the pre-processing. We can automate model selection, model creation. So I will show you and we have some other libraries as well, AutoVeka, AutoSKLearn, it's an extended version of SKLearn and this is TreePod, tree-based pipeline optimization technique, this is S2 and transforming AI MLbox and there are many libraries other than this and we all know about Google AutoML, Amazon SageMaker and Azure Machine Learning, so they are also completely automated and I have already covered automate our EDA in this video, if you have not watched this video, just have a look link is here and you guys if you're just planning to enter into this field data science field eh, or you have just started to transition to this field so i'm not demotivating you all this this kind of library takes away all the data science job if we are using these libraries we should have some basic understanding exact understanding of all the algorithms how algorithms are working at the back end if we will get our time saved by using this library so we can devote that time in using visualization in showing the visualization or in storytelling or in feature selection we can explore more so this library is always useful for us it is it will not take away all the data science so it is making the jobs easy it is making our work easy so that we can explore more libraries i will show you like so first i will just show you a glimpse i will type only compare models and you will see that it will create all the models it will find out the accuracy recall score f1 score you you see how fast it is i'm just using medium and machine it's not a high-end machine it's just having 8 gb ram only you see like uh, how fast it is it is giving me accuracy of all the models so i'm just using a library that is pycaret i will show you so this is the pycaret website so i will use pycaret library it's python based library it's a very low code we just need to use three or four lines of code and our automation is done so that's why they are saying low code and this website is beautifully documented they are having a documentation for each and everything so they are making the work easy i will show you how to explore this library there is a function tab we can initialize getting how will we get the data model training compare models model sampling model analysis how we will create the graph they have documented everything uh, you can go module supervised unsupervised we want to do for classification regression unsupervised clustering and detection they have covered each and every they have provided the tutorials as well for beginner intermediate so let's start using this code for the pie carrot so First, we have to install this library that is PyCaret by using the pip install PyCaret. And I'm using Google Colab for this program. So, after that, I will import PyCaret and Pandas as PD. So, just to import the dataset. And I have stored this dataset in the Google Drive. So, I am importing from here. This is my dataset. So, let me get the background of this dataset. This is a dataset of employees, number of employees. So, basically, it is a employee analysis. We have some variables in independent variables and this is our target attrition whether the employee has left the organization or not we have into some independent variables like uh, whether he travel for business a lot or rare or what is the daily rate of him department distance from home education education field employee count employee number environment satisfaction gender these are the all independent variables so let me show you how many of these so we have 1470 rows and 35 features so we have enough features now i will import from pycaret dot classification everything i will import everything from the pycaret dot classification that's why i'm using star it have many functions so i will import everything so before starting this uh, i need to set up the environment so i will use setup so it is showing me that in setup you have to mention the data and the target and the train size and many more things first thing come first so which is data set and after that i will use target and target is my 
attrition. The, now you can see there are many features. What are these features like whether we want to take sample, we want to test on sample and in this setup function I can compute the data pre-processing as well. I will show you that this is the normalized method. I can use normalization as well. Just I need to normalize equal to true. It will do normalization as well. I can use transformation. It will handle unknown categorical variables all we have to set is true it will remove outliers as well remove outliers i will set as true it will remove outliers remove multicollinearity like if you will scroll down a bit there are many many data preprocessing features as of now i am just using without data preprocessing let's see how it goes so i am using setup and data set and target is attrition let press enter so it is calculating so what is saying let me scroll a bit so it is saying it is processing and the following data types have been entered automatically if they are correct press enter to continue i will just have a look and we'll see it's correct or not it is just showing that it is categorical or numerical so if you think it is correct then we have to press here and just type enter so it will proceed further so it has completed everything it has processed these things and it is showing that what have you configured like numeric features how many categorical features ordinal features sample data transform train set transform test set just divided itself the data set into train and test so numeric computer this algorithm has imputed as well it used mean imputation we have not set the normalized so that is showing false pca equal to false pca is the principal component and is for the feature selection so we have not configured that thing it has showing numeric binning it's false remove outliers we have not set it so it has many features we can explore more so setting up the environment is complete now we just have to type compare models if i will type compare models and it is a function it will give me 14 algorithms in case of classification let's see how it goes i will enter again it is going to process for each and every algorithm it is calculating accuracy area under curve recall precision f1 score kappa it is calculating everything and see how fast it is let me tell you that this data set is not balanced i will get a good accuracy but uh, recall and precision i will not get and i was trying to explore whether it has uh, balancing algorithm or not but i have not find it yet i will explore further it is still processing and it is using cross validation as well by default so it has highlighted the highest accuracy highlighted highest auc highest precision so we can use any algorithm which we like is performing best so we can tune further that model if we like this is the best suppose we are getting extreme gradient boosting is performing good so i will use extreme gradient boosting no uh, but recall is slow yeah let me use lda only lda is performing well so now i will tune the model so here I just use compare models and in the next line I will make a variable that is LD I can use anything here and I will type a function which is create model and in that model I will use a string because if we want to use extreme gradient boosting we have to type EGB so it will tune the EGB model I can see like what string it has if suppose I am using KNN so I will type KNN it will tune the model for KNN see how it tune the model for knn so basically that string i got it from here i will show you tune model so these are the string if i want to tune the model logistic regression i will use lr basically this has a short form for every model so whether i am using lda linear discriminant analysis so it is showing me that if you want to tune the linear discriminant analysis you need to type lda so here i will type lda and that i have to type in the quotes so i will tune the model for lda oh i forgot this so it is using 10 cross validation it will try 10 times and in each different test entry after that once it has calculated for every fold now it will take the mean so i am getting 85 accuracy and i already told you that this data set is not balanced once we'll have the model i can select the model and i will show you some graphs that uh, creates so we have a function name plot model and in plot model i have to define my model which i have created in this lda is basically my tuned model so i will use here lda and here i will use plot and in plot i can use many graphs are there i will show you so i, I will select feature it will give me feature importance for every variable it is saying 
this feature is very important this is less important less important it is very less important so it is showing me beautiful graph with this single line syntax it is awesome trust me guys it is awesome now i'm using pr at a session recall curve i will use plot model same mention and in this i will define my model name which is tune model and in case of plot i will say plot equal to pr trust me guys this is amazing library now i will use plot model and in the function i will use lda that is my tune model and define the plot equal to aoc area under curve and it will show me beautiful graph it is showing me everything like for the zero class how our oc would like and for one class how it would like by using class report it will give me classification report for zero class uh, how much precision it would be how much uh, recall f1 score support and it will create a boundary as well as a plot model there is a plot equal to set as a boundary it also it will give me that graph it will show me classification how many zeros and one are and it is create confusion matrix just to show me true positive true negative so these are my errors 36 and 17 so even i have not balanced the data set it has low error so this is my learning curve by using the cross validation score like if i am at 300 it was that much 400 this much 400 this much so i will suggest you to explore more because they have documented everything in the pie carrot you can explore like pre-processing what are the methods and what are the syntax they will give you everything you just have to try and try and it has many things i'm still exploring these and there are many libraries as well i will be covering those libraries in my upcoming videos so stay tuned so that's all in this video i hope you have learned something new from this video if you have learned something new please like this video and subscribe my channel if not subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification in your inbox so do share this video with your friends so see you all in the next video till then goodbye enjoy happy learning